Hey, what's up cats and kittens and shout out to all my Cerebralites. It is me, the Cerebral Diva, and I'm back with another episode of You Say What. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, You Say What is your opportunity to chime in, to leave your two cents, and to be a part of the discussion that is happening here on my channel within my community of Cerebralites. Having said that, before you go another further, do yourself a favor and while you're at it, do me a solid. Take a second to hit that subscribe button. Once you've done that, take another second to hit that tiny little bell so you can turn on your notifications and that way you'll be kept in the loop so you won't miss a thing. All right, you guys, so there's a new beef brewing in daytime TV. And no, I'm not talking about Black China and Rob. And really quick before I go on to talk about the beef that I'm actually here to talk about, let me touch on Black China and Rob really quickly, just for a millisecond here. Now, I've, I've gotten a couple of emails from people asking me to talk about Black China and Rob. And the reason I have not talked about Black China and Rob is because I really don't give a damn. Um, I just don't find them interesting. I don't find them newsworthy. I don't know why either of them are famous. So to me, they don't really deserve my attention. If I were to talk about Black China and Rob, it would be me doing it just simply based on the fact that I want viewership. And I don't make videos based on the fact that I want viewership. I make videos based on the things that I find interesting and impactful. And Black China and Rob are not either of those things. So therefore, I haven't talked about them. So let's move on. What we're here to talk about is one of my favorite daytime TV shows. And this is staple television for me. This is something I watch pretty much every single day. And that is The View. And one of the primary reasons, if not the primary reasons, that I watch The View is because I'm enamored of Whoopi Goldberg. Now, sometimes we don't see eye to eye on our positions. Um, definitely back when the whole Oscar is so white thing was happening, we both didn't see it from the same way. You know, she was very, she was defending the Oscar organization or the Academy Awards Association. And I didn't understand how she was able to do that because, well, anyway, let me not go off into that tangent. So anyhow, they were doing a segment today about, um, Planet of the Apes and DeRay McKesson. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with DeRay McKesson, DeRay, well, I just, I was just going to call him DeRay because that's how I refer to him. So DeRay is a very prominent leader in the Black Lives Matter movement and organization. Follow him on Twitter and he's famously known for tweeting, I love my blackness and yours. So recently there was a, uh, a poster release for Planet of the Apes where I believe Caesar, I, I'm not I'm not sure which ape in the which simian in the movie is wearing a blue vest, which is something that is pretty much synonymous with Duray at this point. He wears it pretty much everywhere he goes. Everyone's always seeing him in this blue bubble uh vest, excuse me. So when the posters came out and, and obviously you know the history of America, black people are very often compared to primates and simians, what have you. We even saw um, a congressperson or, or some, some political figure, I forget exactly who, um, who referred to Michelle Obama as an ape in heels. So we know here in America very often people of color are compared to two primates. So when DeRay saw this poster, and, and especially given the current political climate that we live in, when he saw the, and, and not knowing the history of the film, his immediate thought was, oh wow, these people are actually sort of making light of me by dressing this primate in a vest and sort of making comparisons to the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, I don't think that that was a far-fetched conclusion for him to come to, you know, because things in, in, in today's day and age, sensitivity has gone out the window. So I can understand definitely how this is one of, one of those generational things where he's going to see it based on contemporary eyes and Whoopi Goldberg is sort of seeing it with experienced eyes, if you will. So on today's show, um, Whoopi was addressing DeRay's comparison to uh, of himself to the primate in the movie, movie. And so she basically calls him out and tells him to get over himself, you know, stop being so self-righteous and sanctimonious and self-aggrandizing. It's not all about you. And, and I'm paraphrasing. This isn't exactly what she said, but I'm sort of, you know, giving you guys sort of a terse um, encapsulation of what she said. Um, and so it's to make it short, she basically read him. <laughs> she, she basically said, look, you're not that important, you know, to think that these people will want to somehow taint what they're doing by 
attaching it to to you or this particular movement when it's just simply meant to be entertainment if you knew the history of the film you would see that what they did was actually contemporize the attire of what pride of what they wore in older movies so they pop up and i'm going to actually put a, a post a picture up also so they put up a picture and you when you see it side by side you say oh wow well they have been wearing these blue vests so it does make sense but being cynical and and in today's day and age that could even though there that could be coincidental you also wonder okay well if you know that this is happening in today's day and age if you know the history of america the history of racism and you know that this blue this blue vest even though it's something that was worn prior to all of what's happening currently should the filmmakers have had an awareness to say let's not do this because we don't even want the potential of this to happen so when it comes to this particular beef between Whoopi and DeRay first of all um I like both of them um I, I think both of them do great work I think both of them are great figureheads for the, the black community and I hate to see this sort of black and black beef happening but hopefully the two of them will be able to because they actually invited DeRay on the show and DeRay actually tweeted and said you know Whoopi if you have something to say you know I'm here so I think that ho hopefully he's open to having a discussion and maybe they both can sit down and talk about the nuances of why he feels the way that he felt because he's since taken down the tweets where he was making the comparisons between that particular character in the movie and himself so I think that maybe someone may have bought what she was saying to his attention so it seems like he may be aware of that but even though he's aware of it I'm not a hundred percent convinced that it wasn't a slight dig so I don't think like I said before I don't think it was that far-fetched for him to come to that conclusion anyhow you guys I want to know what you think first of all I want to know what you think about this beef and I also want to know if you think that it was contrived on the part of the filmmakers to to make these parallels between this character and DeRay or if you think that it was just happenstance something that just happened you know just because of an oversight so make sure you comment below and that concludes this episode so remember to like comment subscribe and please share if you feel so inclined remember to follow me across all social media platforms Facebook Instagram Snapchat and Twitter also remember, it is better to be pissed off than it is to be pissed on. And it's always in closing, people remember to live better, love harder, and think smarter. It is me, the Cerebral Diva. I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day. And as always, thank you for listening.